Hi guys, how are you going today? I hope you're all well. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I personally do in order to be in with a chance to get airdrops when projects decide to drop their tokens. And it's not simply by going to CoinMarketCap and applying to the projects you can, joining their Telegram, Twitter, and so on. Okay, truth be told, chances of getting airdrops this way are very, very low. I'll be doing something different. I'll show you where to find projects which are currently have no tokens, but have a working protocol. I'll show you how to set up a new wallet and interact with these protocols and reducing any risks. I'll be doing a live demo on how to go about achieving this and absolutely simplify the crap out of it for you so you'll be able to set up and be ready to go. Personally, by using this formula, I've been very successful in getting airdrops in the past. Those drops were not from just being lucky, but by using a little forethought, preparation, and a little hard work. Just check out my past video on DYDX and how I prepared myself and anyone watching my channel back then for an unbelievable DYDX airdrops. Anyone who followed me back then would have gotten a minimum of 310 DYDX tokens, which would now be valued at quite a lot. And I advise my viewers to make multiple accounts. Uh, okay, so that video will pop up in the top right now if you want to check it out. Okay, so if that sounds interesting to you, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and activate the bell button. So you'll get notified of any of my time sensitive content. So without further ado, let's get started. So firstly, what you want to do is find promising protocols which don't have any tokens yet. There are a variety of ways in which you can go about doing this, but a good way is to check out DeFi Llama website and simply click on the airdrops link. Here you'll see a list of protocols which currently do not have any tokens. It will show you the total value locked and the chain the protocol is currently on. So in order to interact with one of these protocols, then you'll need a crypto wallet, which you can use for the chain that protocol is on. Let's check out some of these sites and see if we can find anything that looks promising. Okay, so I really like the look of Marinade Finance. And I, and to be honest, I've actually used this protocol before. So as the example, I'm going to choose to do this. So firstly, before you use any protocol, it is pretty good idea to research a bit about what it does. So, uh, so what is Marinade.Finance? Well, basically, it's a liquid staking protocol built, built on Solana. So basically you can stake your Solana on this platform and when you do, you'll receive an APY plus you'll receive MSOL, which will represent the amount of SOL that you have staked into your wallet. And this is called liquid staking because now you can use the MSOL to earn more passive income through other forms and other platforms like uh, Oka or Sabre Finance or Soul Farm and so on. By the way, Marinade Finance is a bit of a no-brainer to be honest uh, because uh, if you check out their documentation you'll see that they have are already working on a governance token. They're going to call it MNDE. So this will definitely be introduced so it's just a matter of, of when not if. Okay, so since this is on the Solana blockchain, you'll need a compatible wallet. I think Phantom is by far the most and best wallet on the uh, on Solana, so I definitely recommend downloading that now. Okay, so download the uh, Phantom wallet for Chrome browser or Brave browser as an extension. 
Okay, so it's pretty easy to set up the wallets. Just make sure you write down your seed phrase somewhere safely and make sure nobody knows where that is and never reveal the seed phrase. Okay, and you'll have to set up a little password as well. Okay, so that's really super simple. So once you've got that set up, you're all ready to go and interact with Marinade Finance. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to connect to the app with your Phantom Wallet. Enter the amount of soul you want to stake. The app will then give you a conversion into its M soul version. Above, you'll be able to see the APY you'll receive on this. Okay, approve the transaction and open your wallet to view your M soul. So now your soul is staked and you will receive M soul in return. If you want to unstake, then just click the unstake tab and you can pretty much do that immediately if you like. If you want to earn some more passive income, then with your staked MSOL, you can check out the DeFi tab up the top and scroll through and check, it, check them out if you like. So there you have it, that's it. You have interacted with this DAP by staking a little soul on the protocol. If you like, you can immediately unstake that for a very small fee. And now you can just sit back and wait. As for me, I'm continuing to stake my soul, which I then took my M soul over to Saber Finance and provided liquidity for the soul and M soul pair, from which I received LP tokens and then farmed those over on soul.farm. All in the name of getting some extra yield. This is the DGEN coming out in me and my hunt for yield, as I don't like crypto sitting idle in my wallet. But of course, this is all optional. Okay then, I hope you are able to learn something today. If you are interested in me doing some more of these hunting for airdrop videos, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to drop me a like, as it doesn't cost you anything, and it helps support the channel. Bye for now everyone, and have a great rest of your day.